bread needs to sit for about, say 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I'm actually gonna Google it because I forget. I'm not a baker. So that needs to sit so that the gluten can set or the flour structure or the bread structure or whatever structure can set. And in the meantime, we have these nice Brussels sprouts. I should probably introduce this properly because it's going to be in a different episode, so. Well, with Brussels sprouts, you want to make sure you cut them in half and increase the surface area for the browning to occur. Uh, those brown bits are literally where the flavor is at on every vegetable, so don't be afraid to cut your vegetables and roast them on a high heat. I've already got the oven going, so I'm going to just repurpose the heat that's already going on there and roast up some Brussels sprouts as well. There's an ugly brownish knobby end on these Brussels sprouts where they detach from the stem. If they are looking a little bit uh, dark and ugly and unappetizing, feel free to cut them off. These are fairly fresh. Um, the harvest was probably not that long ago, so they're totally fine for my purposes. Also, if you have a giant Brussels sprout, feel free to nick the end right here, or these are not too hefty. Sometimes you get really big Brussels sprouts, and for those, you definitely want to nick the middles so that they can cook evenly and not to get uh, burnt while you're trying to cook them through. Typically, you don't use extra virgin olive oil to roast or do high heat applications, but this one is really, really not that special. It basically tastes like lightly olive flavored vegetable oil, um, probably because I bought it for $5. Get good extra virgin olive oil. So I'm just going to drizzle them with this unspectacular olive oil and then toss them with a bit of kosher salt. Toss to get the oil everywhere it needs to be. And then get them on the cut side down. Uh, the oven's already going at 450 degrees. I might blast this at the end to uh, get a nice crisp, but I'm not going to interrupt the bread baking process. I actually really like doing Brussels sprouts on a stove top, on a carbon steel pan, but today I've already got the oven going, so why not just utilize the heat that I've already got in the oven and make some delicious Brussels sprouts. So I couldn't decide how I wanted to make a sauce for the Brussels sprouts and I want to do something a little bit different. So I decided to be a little bit extra, grab my extra tool and microplane up a few cloves of garlic. I've got basically uh, one medium sized clove and two tiny ones, so call it like one and a half large cloves or, or maybe like two medium cloves. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to do basically a traditional-ish uh, cold noodle sauce, like a peanut sauce that's commonly served cold on cold noodles, uh, common in Chinese cuisine, and uh, I'm going to serve that with my Brussels sprouts because why not? If you don't have a microplane at home, feel free to just use a knife, crush it up, and mince it as good as you can. It's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, by microplane the garlic, I actually stretch the garlic. I can use less garlic to impart the same amount of flavor. So that's one of the reasons why I'm using a microplane. Uh, everything is crazy right now. I saw garlic for a dollar per head, and that makes me want to save money and consider my garlic microplane. This is about a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of Xinjiang black vinegar from China. I'm pretty sure I butchered that pronunciation. Some soy sauce, about a teaspoon as well. And I'm gonna call it about two tablespoons of peanut butter and some roasted Thai chilies. All right, so this is not super appetizing looking, but I'm pretty sure it'll taste good. I also am missing a lot of things that traditionally go into this um, peanut sauce, like sesame oil, sesame paste. Uh, I don't have, uh, what was the other one? I was gonna put in a little bit of chili oil as well, but I couldn't find that. So I'm just gonna make do with sriracha, which will add a little bit of lightness and sweetness. Uh, and some tartness to, to the finish of the dish. So, most importantly, I'll add color. 
Why am I using this knife? This is the worst knife to use. I'm using this knife because I'm too lazy to clean another one. I've had the Brussels sprouts in the oven for about 40 minutes. I don't exactly know how long they've been in there, but ballpark you're looking for about 30, 45 minutes. I had my bread baking at 450 degrees, and now my Brussels sprouts look like this. Which is perfect. Alright, I don't know how I'm gonna plate this yet. Yeah, let's see. Oh, by the way, do you hear this? Alright, I don't exactly know where I'm gonna go with this plating, but I'm just gonna start doing. And, um, yeah. This is chopped cilantro stems. If you don't like cilantro stems, don't use them. That was ketchup. Just kidding, that was sriracha. Green onions. If you don't like Brussels sprouts, it's because you haven't had them done right. So do them right and eat delicious things. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and support me by sharing it with your friends. Until next time, stay safe out there, practice social distancing, and make delicious things. I'm gonna eat this now. The first one I take a picture.